so much just happened in the last 10 minutes i like i <laughs> i can't believe what just happened our neighbors are like going through some drama right now and three sheriff deputies came into my house and i was so scared <laughs> They're asking for my partner, but still, it was so scary. So like I can't breathe right now. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my one week update on my medication. If you did not watch my last video, I will link it up above and you can check it out at the end of this video. It will be in the end screen. And basically, I just let you guys know that I am starting a medication for my major depression disorder PTSD and anxiety I'll just give you a little synopsis I've been through a lot I went through a lot as a kid slash teenager and I just decided that I need to get back on medication because I'm not doing well mentally so this video is just going to give you my one week update I'm not sure how many times I can do this I'm probably gonna do like every week until I feel I don't know for now I'm just gonna start with weekly updates and possibly move on to two week updates we'll see but I really want to get the first week update and let you guys know how so I am taking fluoxetine which is a generic brand name for Prozac and that is to help my depression and anxiety and PTSD um I started I did take this when I was a teenager when I was going through everything um, and it did help so I asked if I could start the same medication again now that I'm an adult and that it helped for a little bit I was like let's try it and see if it will help so I just wrote down like my first week symptoms and I'm gonna go through it I'd say it's okay it's doing it's doing something it's doing something um, at first I thought that I would have to go down but after I felt it out I realized that I can do it it's fine um, so my first day, honestly, I was wearing my glasses all day. And I just think my tire, my eyes were like tired, but like, I don't know what was going on with my eyes. They were just really annoyed. And so I was wearing my glasses. The biggest thing that I was having is my mind was silent. Like I'm full of worry. I'm always worrying about something in my head. And that is what keeps me distracted all day i'm literally stuck in my head all day so for the first day that i was taking this my brain is silent and i just felt at peace and i was so happy to not be worrying about anything so the next day and i was tired around 2 30 and that's kind of normal for me if i don't have any caffeine i get really tired at 2 30 ish um so day two which is 11 11 i was wearing my glasses again i took my medication at 10 a.m which is how I was doing the, those two days. I felt at peace, quiet, no worry, a little bit drowsy at around three o'clock. And then I had a headache around four o'clock and it went all through the night. It was so bad, but usually I don't take any medication for pain, go through the course. I just let it run its course. It got to the point to where I woke up at 3 a.m. worrying. The headache was so severe. Like I felt like my brain was melting. Like it hurt so bad. I don't know. So then I took a Tylenol. It was just so bad. So day three, November 12th, I had the same headache. I had the same headache and I was drowsy. Um, I did have one neck spasm, so I don't know what that is all about. Maybe I just tilted my head a certain way. Um, and I was a little nauseous. But that is kind of normal for me because my birth control that I switched to about six months ago has been making me nauseous randomly. So I don't think that was a side effect to this medication. I think it was a side effect to my birth control because I literally have anti-nausea medicine in my purse for when I'm at work. Over the summer, I was so nauseous randomly. It was... It was weird so I'm not blaming this medication um so on that day I took two Tylenol they were 500 milligrams and I was fine I was fine the rest of the day and then the next day on the 13th I was fine no headache feeling stuffed like I overate I never feel that way I mean if I do overeat then I feel that way but like I thought I was snacking a lot at work but I don't think I was and I just felt so stuffed and full like I was bloating so bad to the point where I unbuttoned my pants on my drive home <laughs> like that's where it was um and it hurt so bad my stomach hurt so bad because I was like bloated um so um on the 14th I felt fine and I was able to be in the present with people and that is the one the second biggest thing that I worried about because I am just like I said I am always stuck in my head worrying I'm never in the present 
with anyone. I'm always worrying about the next step. What am I doing in two hours? What am I doing in five minutes? Stuff like that randomly. So, so on the 14th, I felt fine in the present. No real changes except tired. So I am getting really tired quickly or faster than normal. I do work till like 10 o'clock at night. So it was really concerning for me one of the days where I was so tired at 10 o'clock, like I could barely drive home. After one o'clock p.m., my head hurt a few times, but it wasn't really alarming. So maybe it was just like little pains. So on the 15th, my teeth started feeling sensitive slash bleeding. And I don't think it's this medication because I finally found my new retainers that I ordered like two months ago. And I've been wearing those for the last three days. So I think that's why my gums were bleeding a little bit. And, um... Just having teeth sensitivity because i've been wearing my new retainer so it's just like i'm starting a lot of new things recently so i don't i can't pinpoint if it's my medication or the new things that i'm starting and i was just like not tired but i guess like sluggish and feeling like bleh um so today is the 16th and right now i feel a little headache because i did not drink a lot of caffeine <laughs> and i really think it's just my caffeine intake um, but other than that, I'm feeling okay. There's not like m any mood changes still. Well, I'm not sure I'm supposed to feel that many in a week, but I just feel silence in my head and that's like <laughs> so amazing right now. Really amazing. I know I was feeling it like the first three days, but it's still going on and like I'm not worrying about anything too much and it's just really great to be honest. I feel like the little person in my head just moved out went on vacation haven't heard from him in a week so yeah right now i'm in like the cleaning mood so i am decluttering a lot of stuff so maybe my energy is slowly coming back up but i'm not sure so i'm not quite sure if it's this medication or if it's just i've lost four pounds since my last appointment i don't know if it was that or, or this medication so I hope it's the medication because i would really love to lose at least 20 pounds it is the end of this video let me know your thoughts and concerns or any advice down in the comments below and i will see you guys in my next video bye